force addition and subtraction. Resolution of a force. Problem 10. Let us consider the following problem. Two children carry a bucket of water while walking along a horizontal surface. Each child pulls the bucket with a force of 40 newtons. As shown in figure 1, the angle between the hands of the two children is 90 degrees. Calculate the weight of the bucket. We will solve this problem by answering the following eight questions. Question 1. How many forces act on the bucket? One force, two forces, three forces, or four forces. The problem mentioned three forces. Two pulls, one from each child, and the bucket's weight. The answer must be C, three forces. We are right. There are three forces acting on the bucket, the weight of the bucket, and two forces, with which the two children, pull the bucket. Figure 1 illustrate these three forces. Let us go to question 2. What is given in the problem? The problem states that both, F1, and, F2, are equal with 40 newtons, the angle between the forces is 90 degrees. The weight of the bucket is not given in the problem. The only choice, which captured all these facts, is D. Let us select D. Okay. We were right again. As we said above, the known facts for this problem are, the magnitude of the forces, and the angle between them. The unknown fact is the magnitude of the weight. Now, let us proceed to question 3. Which figure, correctly shows the vertical component of the force, F1? A vertical component, must be oriented along the vertical direction. The direction of the vertical component, is given by the initial force. The magnitude, of the vertical component, is obtained by doing a projection of the initial force, on the vertical direction. In conclusion, the diagram corresponding to C, is the correct representation of the vertical component of the force F1. We were right. The vertical component of the force F1, together with all the other forces acting on the bucket, are shown in this diagram. So far so good. Let us move to the next question. Question 4. What is the relationship between the sum of the vertical components of the two forces, F1, and F2, and the weight? The children walked along a horizontal surface. We must assume that, during the walk, the bucket moves in a plane, parallel with the horizontal surface. Therefore, there is no vertical movement, for the bucket. With all these considerations in mind, we conclude, the sum of the vertical components of the two forces, must be equal with the weight of the bucket. A, B, and C, are in fact expressing the same relationship among these forces, in a slightly different way. Therefore, the answer to this question must be, D. The sum, of the two vertical components of the forces, exercised by the children, annihilates the weight of the bucket. This can be expressed by the equation, weight, minus the vertical component of F1, minus the vertical component of F2, is equal with zero. Next question is. Question 5. What is the angle, theta 1, between the force F1, and the vertical axis? Figure 1 illustrates the magnitude, and the direction, of forces acting on the bucket. Assuming the magnitude of the two forces, F1, and F2, are equal, and the angle between them is 90 degrees, then the angles between the vertical components of the forces, and the corresponding force, must be half of 90. In conclusion, each of this angle must be 45 degrees. We had implicitly assumed here the following facts. The children have the same height. They walk on parallel lines, and the children are always symmetric to each other, relative to the position of the bucket. As a result of our assumptions, we conclude the answer to this question is, B. Feels good. The angle, theta, between the hands of the two children, is 90 degrees. The angle between the vertical components of the forces, and the corresponding force, is 45 degrees. Question 6. Which relationship, correctly express the magnitude of the vertical component of the force, F1? As we mentioned already, the magnitude of the vertical component, is given by the projection of the initial force, along the vertical direction. The cosine function is used to express the projection of a line segment, 
along a direction. The magnitude of the vertical component, F1, is equal with the initial force, F1, multiplied by the cosine of the angle between the vertical component, and the initial force. In conclusion the answer is, A. Excellent. The facts, stated during the analysis of this question, are captured in this diagram. Question 7. What is the magnitude of the weight of the bucket? To answer this question, we need to calculate the vertical components of the forces. The vertical component of F1, is equal with F1, multiplied by cosine of 45 degrees. The vertical component of F2, is equal with the vertical component of F1. The weight, is equal with the sum of the vertical components. After doing these calculations, I came up with, 56.57 newtons. The calculations, required to answer this question, are captured in this board. Again, the magnitude of the weight, is equal with the sum of the vertical components. Each vertical component is a product between the force, and the cosine. Finally, we got to the last question. Question 8. What is the magnitude of the sum of the two forces, F1, and, F2? Forces are vectors. The sum of two vectors is a geometrical operation that takes into consideration, the angle between the vectors. In this case, the angle between the forces is 90 degrees. We can therefore apply the Pythagorean theorem, to calculate the magnitude of the sum of the two forces. Looks like, selection, A, represents the Pythagorean theorem. This is correct. Performing the calculation, we come up to the same result. The magnitude of the sum of the two forces, F1, and, F2, is equal with the magnitude of the weight. Both, the sum of the two forces, and the weight, are oriented along the vertical direction. The sum of the two forces, and the weight of the bucket, annihilates each other. Let us check the score we got for each, and for all questions. Congratulations! We got 100 points out of 100. Keep it up. Finally, we can check the summary of the problem. Problem input summarizes the problem text. Main reasoning steps, review the main steps of the problem. And finally, the problem output summarizes the results of the main question of the problem. Stop the video and takes few minutes to deeply understand what we have done. Hope to see you soon, solving another physics problem.